Welcome back to War Thunder and welcome aboard the MD450B Urachon. I guess this, this is how you pronounce it. And the background footage is a bit representative in the shape or form that it shows how much you struggle in this aircraft. But it's not really this aircraft in particular, it's the battle rating combined with the performance. Now, it's a fine aircraft. I like the look of it, I like how it flies. It could have been a bit better. It's not fully upgraded, but then again, you know, too much performance of jets is hidden in the upgrades and you just have to play such a long time with so many bad games, with such a bad experience overall, that you get frustrated. And so I make an 8.0 rand today in this video and I aim it at Gaijin because they are literally responsible for it. And there are two reasons that I can come up with um, in terms of an explanation. Either they are incompetent or they like it the way that it is right now for one, uh, one specific reason that is money. Or they just don't play the game, they don't see it and they don't even know that there is an issue and I'm not quite sure which one of the both is more troublesome, so to speak. Now, let's talk through it. Um, I've talked, to a, uh, talked about this issue with many many people that play chats more often than I do and well, they actually agree with the reasons that I stated and well, they brought some new reasons into my mind or some new arguments into my mind when it came to the overall discussion of it. 8.0 chat fighters in particular are just simply rendered obsolete. Despite being actually good aircraft from what I can uh, figure out when flying them myself. Up until the point it comes to the actual combat. So... Again, so much performance is hidden in the upgrades, it's just really not that nice for all jets. And again, a lot of props as well, but for props, you can work around it with teamwork in, in jets. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. So we have a constant up tier to 9.0. And the 9.0 jets, well, they just first hunt down the 8.0 because they are easy prey and later on they face each other in something that I can at best describe as arcade style low level head on slash turn fight orgy. Wow, so much skill. Then also 8.0 jet fighters are rendered obsolete by gimmick aircraft. Best example is the Vautour jet bomber. It has a hunter performance with an air start and better guns. I'm deeply impressed by how Gaijin handled it is. Again, I guess nobody really, you know, troubled himself with the effort of testing it. Then we have imbalanced maps as well. One of the battles that really opened my mind was on the Britain map. I was starting with a stock or nearly stock 8.0 jet from the airfield against 9.0 fully upgraded jets with an air start. So much fun, Gaijin. Really, it's it's off the scale of disgusting. You know, it's I'm just reduced to gun food, to shooting training. That's all. I cannot go up to you know zoom speed to get to altitude. But well, then I could, in theory, uh, dive down and do certain kind of boom and zoom attacks on the 9.0 jets because again they just focus on me they just swoop in with a thousand one hundred kilometers an hour just shoot at me and that's it and i might uh, avoid the first attack the second but at some point i'm literally depleted out of energy there is nothing that i can do about it and well all that i'm left is with waste of time and a repair bill wow Encouraging, right? Even when I'm fully upgraded, I cannot see this plane really having a chance against 9.0. Then, you know, those other jets have a better roll rate, better maneuverability, better energy retention, better ac acceleration, better top speed, and in certain cases, even better fire power. And I'm not even mentioning here the sparking problems, regardless of the ping, regardless of the package loss. Because, again, in this battle, I had a lot of... Um, you know, packet loss and a lot of bad ping. However, again, this is just a battle that was long enough to do a commentary on it. 
the vulture problem. You know, the the vulture actually makes it even worse in many ways than just one. So even if you have an 8.0 top tier battle, which is very, very rare, remember 8.0 up tier, then the vultures just go in, get all the easy kills and leave you with the dangerous aircraft that they are not very keen on fighting, like the G91s in both variations, that just seem to be a bit better than you. Uh, sorry, that was my Facebook, sorry about this. And wow, that's just so much fun, you know. So either you are the food or there is nothing left on the food table for you. So you literally starve to death in both silver lines, research points, um, and please don't even waste gold needles on those planes. There are just certain gimmick planes like the ME163 with a ridiculous climb rate or the rocket powered ME262s. You know, they have a certain place for a limited amount of time, but that's it. Again, as I made it clear in my Vautour commentary, just wait it out patiently. They cannot really catch you. Their weaponry is inferior. You know, they. As when you are 500 meters away from them, they literally can't do anything about you. Except if you're dumb enough to go into a head-on that you just don't pull out of. Um, so, I talked again to many people. One of them was McChicken Bites. And I hope he doesn't mind me quoting him here, kind of. He said, just the top tier 9... Uh, just the top tier 9.0 chats are relevant at all and I fully agree with that again with the exception of certain gimmick uh, planes and my addition is that the rest is just gimmick planes or just gun food and the, now we come to the actually interesting question why does Gaijin do this so they definitely don't play their own game I, I came to the conclusion whatever they might tell me they don't play their own game. And if there is some Gaijin employee that still has some sort of interest in the game play or how the game works out, you know, in terms of balancing or whatnot, then nobody of the higher ranks at Gaijin seems to listen to that guy. Or they say, calm down, comrade, everything is paying out for us. And that's the next thing. Just look at the statistics and being okay with them might be one other potential, you know, explanation. But, you know, they, they created all this stuff, put so much effort into it, and then pal balancing it that poorly? Wow, that, that would be really bad, in my opinion. So, then it amplifies another problem, that is the queue time. You know, many people have chats, but then quickly, you know, just go back to props and having fun with them or switching to tanks and then being frustrated with the RP income and civil line reward and bleeding and bleeding out in terms of civil lines. So they play their premium aircraft to get a decent amount of premium, uh, um, I'm sorry, civil lines. So again, it's a big, big mess. So many people have chats, but don't play them because of the obvious reasons that I just stated. These who play them and, you know, really want to get good at it because it's some sort of statement. Oh, look, I have flight or top tier jets and I'm good in them because I go into head-ons and turn fight all at low level instantly and rush the enemy team and whatnot. Um, <clears throat> You know, they are happy because they throw gold needles at Gachin to get the upgrades on their beloved jets, be it the CL-13, be it the MiG-15 BIS, the German one, or be it certain other top tier jets like MiG-15 and whatnot. And they are happy seal clubbing and they don't really see a problem because they, you know, they could have gone straight to the top tier jets without ever playing a 7.0 or 8.0 jets. And in my opinion, you learn nothing from that except getting seal clubbed or getting frustrated by the kind of long way that you have to go through with the upgrades. In my opinion, the best learning starter jet is the MiG-15 BIS or the MiG-17 fully upgraded. Because if you suck in this plane, it's utterly your fault. If then you're okay with this chat, 
I don't think that you have any sort of chance in a stock 10.0 or 8.0 jets. And even if they're fully upgraded, you kind of see the problem. Gaijin needs to fix a lot of stuff to make jets in trouble, to get people back into playing jets, to reduce the queue time, to make a better matchmaker. Now, I have not finished my rant on the Vulture because the Vulture, or the Vulture, just floods the matchmaker. And even by me complaining about certain broken stuff, which is obvious, I secretly also advertise it. So people spend money to get instantly those jets to enjoy the imbalanced time because certain people just don't care about money and Gaijin makes a huge amount of money by just, you know, implementing such poorly balanced planes. Um, we had this in the past with the TU-4. We have this for quite some time with the R2Y2. But then again, it's not it's it's just a threat in the early stages because once it loses energy, it's not all that good of a plane. But it doesn't matter because the most jet matches against Japanese against the R2Y2 just last at three minutes in the first place. So you, you kind of see either your jet is a gimmick, completely overpowered plane in one way or another, or it's completely rubbish and just not worth playing, despite being actually a pretty decent uh, jet fighter because it's rendered obsolete due to the matchmaking and so forth. So you see the argumentation is running in a circle. I'm repeating stuff, I'm implementing new arguments into it, and you just kind of see that a plane that is actually nice, like the MD450B Orajon, is actually rendered completely obsolete. It has no place. It's completely obsolete, again. And so, I guess the only two guys that are happy are the guys at Gaijin, because they get the Golden Eagles from the players that actually bother playing chats and just um, skip the 7.0 and 8.0 bracket and jump directly into 9.0, throw a bunch of Golden Eagles that they purchased, um, from Gaijin directly back at Gaijin to get the upgrades to not bother with the stock run and enjoying their you know low level head on dogfight orgy um, at, at best at Spain <laughs> um, or Korea and then be done with it and feeling happy about it and then at certain points it gets a bit boring and they just leave the game wow there are so many chats so many over 20 that are rendered completely obsolete because of this. You know, Gaijin has put money and effort into creating those uh, chats, even looking up data and so on. And then to just screwing it up by having one bloody number called 8.0 in front of all of the rest of the aircraft that just renders it obsolete. Again, it's not the MD450B, it's also... Um, other jets like the MD 450B Barujan, a lot of the, well, the, the Italian aircraft, the G91s, they also suffer from it, um, from the Japanese. Well, they just have the Kia 200 at that battle rating. The Kika is completely rubbish by itself. Um, it has its lovers, but then again, you know. Um, the British, well, I have no idea how the higher meteors fly. I just know that the 7.0 FMK3 is bloody slow. And the C meteor F Mark 3 that I played quite some bit as well, not very enjoyable. Then for the Soviets, you know, you might say, oh, Russian bass. Not really in this case, to be sure. The LA-15, LA-174 and the Yak-30, they do not really feel nice either. I mean, yeah, there's the TU-4 and the jet bombers, but I haven't seen them in quite some while because the repair cost of the TU-4 for my upgraded here are 67,000 silver lines. Bloody hell. Um, for the Germans, well, we have a lot of gimmick aircraft here, don't we? The ME-262 C1A, C2B, then also the ME-163B that I just mentioned previously. And other than that, no 8.0 chat. The rest is uh, either 7.0 or 6.7 or 9.0. And for the Americans, well, even the glorious F2H suffers a lot by it. And, you know, what are the best 8.0 aircraft at throughout all the nations? The jet bombers, because of the hilarious air start with a lot of airspeed 
where they can drop their bombs going to head on against other jet bombers but f funnily enough i never encountered a tier 4 versus my vautour or any kind of r2y2 you know natural enemies that would kind of elim eliminate each other like somebody at gaijin has done some work deliberately so those that those aircraft are not fighting each other the same goes for the me 262s you know the the c1 and c2b when i played my t4 i never encountered them when i played them i rarely encountered a t4 so you know the 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 natural enemies are not facing each other but they are ruffle stumming the enemy or normal 8.0 jet fighters get ruffle stumped so the only explanation for me is that the rather small community that actually fights jets is paying enough money at top tier for gaijing to saying okay comrade no problem we get enough money we do not change anything and as long as this is as it is as it is i just don't get any pleasure out of this i don't have fun i see no reason why to play it because either i seal club with low skill or i get seal club despite doing my best and all i can hope is for some weird battle ending where all the 9.0 chats are dead and just some uh, 8.0 chats are then fighting each other and even amongst the 8.0 bracket as far as i can tell there are huge differences while i love this plane that i'm currently flying i mean it's missing the acceleration and the top speed and it's not the most maneuverable as well however i can control it enough to bring it into position and yeah it suffers from lockup and all those problems so it's more of a 7.7 7.3 aircraft depends because i have not fully upgraded it so maybe then it becomes a real 8.0 aircraft but do you see it because in order to shoot somebody down you need a lot of hits on him with those sparky guns in order to kill somebody you need to get within range at first at least uh, to 700 meters better six or 500 meters of course the closer you are the better but then again he rolls around and you overshoot and he kills you and your um, your air brakes are not the best look at this compression i had to abandon the dive on this guy really early on and i came with a lot of speed into him he turns around and he's nearly on my tail if he wouldn't have uh, bled a lot of energy to the attack of the voiture he could have gotten me there despite me having a good attack approach and there i saw just a black dot by looking behind me and i said a second aircraft coming in and by looking behind me uh, where is it around about now he should appear the other guy in the me 163 and the me 163 again is a bloody dangerous aircraft in certain respects but then again just so limited in its actual capacity um I think to myself who should i shoot down first and obviously um the me 163 is a potential threat but then i see he behaves strangely then i see it oh he just has like half a wing left and look at all those hits that went into him eventually he will crash and i get the kill but it's just not enjoyable so let's just summarize what we just discussed 8.0 jet fighters are rendered obsolete they are not fun and they are not competitive there are certain things that make this kind of worse the constant relentless up tier um maybe even initiated by the 8.0 jet fighters which get spammed out and they have a limit to four jet bombers per team per match and then they flop the matchmaker and eventually see also as many down tiers which have better performance with an air start which you don't have then there are imbalanced maps then there are sparks then there are um unreliable issues unreliability issues in other respects i mean i've snapped the wings of this aircraft out of nowhere multiple times the spotting mechanic uh, uh, with jet level um 
the big discrepancy between a stock chat and a fully upgraded chat. It's all there. If you want to screw up um, chats, Gaijin could not have done a better job at it. And this is one of the rare occasions where actually I think my skill somewhat mattered. And yeah, I'm spraying here a bit wildly, but this was my only hope, I guess, to get any kill on this guy. So eventually I will pull down and hunt the other one, which uh, throws himself thankfully in a head-on, which is something that I do not like. It doesn't show any skill and he damages me, but I got a kill. This was probably worth more than in the previous battles altogether. And what I'm actually living on with my research progress is the kill assists trying to get some random shots on some people because my 20 millimeters, even with multiple hits, will not do the job. And so at the end, I do one mistake and I get shredded and uh, I think we can end the video right here because that's it. I guess nobody really enjoyed this video, but if you agree with me, I guess you could give it a thumbs up. Maybe at some point, because of some bizarre reason, it might get the attention of Gaijin. I don't know. And we can hopefully just see some improvements later on. There are so many suggestions on the forums. So many people have complained it. And at some point, I just wanted to go back into chats. But battles like these, experiences like these, and this was one of the more enjoyable battles, I have to say. Um, just, they prevent me from playing this. They just turn me off. Literally. They just say to me, why should I waste my time? Why should I waste uh, silver lines that I've earned with other aircraft? Because at the end of the day, I'm left with a repair bill in most cases. And the battle ends for me after like two minutes of flying after being in queue for like 10 minutes and we have now around about 75,000 players in the queue as I you know played this this match it's, I have no words for this so that's it for me today thanks for watching thanks for listening please give this video a like if you did or if you agree with me um, subscribe if you want to see more and we'll see each other in the skies of War Thunder. I guess we can let it end right here. That was just a pure ping issue, I have to agree. <laughs>